I remember. Was like yesterday, December 7th, 1941. It was just about 8 o'clock in the morning when the, the radio announcer would come on the radio and say, This is not a test. The Japanese are bombing Pearl Harbor. Oh, my whole family went on outside. We would look toward Pearl Harbor. We see the black smoke. And every now and again, the, the rumbling like thunder. And then coming out of the smoke, I see these three planes. They got the, the red ball, the rising sun of Japan on their wings. They're coming in low and fast. So low that I can see the faces of the pilots as they go by. They look like me. I was 20 years old. My kid brother Kenji was 18. My dad won't go drive us to the induction center. He stayed driving. All of a sudden, he goes, say, this country been good to us. Give me a job. Give you boys education. Comes to a point where you must give your life for it. So be it. But do so with honor. Do not bring shame to our family. All squad, we got caught in this, in this barrage. All these tree bursts are going off all over the place. Oh, I would run to the nearest big tree. Kenji right behind me. I got there, I made myself real small. I could hear the debris pinging off my helmet. And when it was over, I look around for Kenji. But he's not there. I look back, and there he is. In this depression, about five yards back, he's holding his stomach, his eyes all big and glassy. I run over there, I pick him up in my arms. He say that he's tired, he's sorry, but he not can run so good, his feet hurt. So I notice that he, he's trying unsuccessfully to hold his guts in. He say, but he feels sorry for me, because mama gonna give me dirty lickings, because I'm supposed to keep him safe. He smile. And there's blood trickling out the corner of his mouth. He said he's cold. He's tired of being cold. Then the medic come up. You look at Kenji. You look at me. And you reach over. Close Kenji's eyes. Eh, no worry. We take care of him now. Nothing can hurt him. We're pinned down by this five machine gun nest at the top of this hill. And we see this, this colonel, he, he stand up, pull out his pistol and say, Infantry, charge! Nobody move. Then I see this one guy, he stand up, he get his gun. He start yelling and cursing, he's firing his gun. You know, in battle, sometimes it's this madness descends and people do stuff without reason, yeah? See, everybody starts standing up, so I stand up too. I was tired, cold, hungry, and I hurt. They were gonna pay, so I started running up the hill. I start yelling and cursing. I look around me, all my guys, my friends, they're falling left and right all around me. I fire my gun, I throw my grenades, and I start yelling. I start yelling for the people in the camps. I start yelling for Benny calling for his Okasan. I start yelling for my friends who died in the mud. I start yelling for my mom. I start yelling for my dad. I start yelling for Kenji. And I start yelling for me. No!